Yo, what's good? What's good? What's good? It's your boy Wizzy the Creator. Actually, fuck it. It's your man, Wizzy the Creator, aka Prof Star Amo, aka Amos. Welcome back to the university. Welcome back to Schizophrenia Mac Recordings. Welcome back to the family, my niggas and sisters. Now, today's topic, you know what it is, man. It's infinite possibilities, baby. <laughs> It's infinite possibilities, my love. So, you see, man, in this life that we live in, actually, there are so many infinite possibilities. Of course, your life is what you make it. But just know that there are infinite possibilities. Just because you have your own version of how your life should look like five to ten years ahead, doesn't mean that you should like close the doors for other possibilities and opportunities because you might not know you might not know you see man in this life you will never know your life path you can try to figure out your life path but you may not know it like in full depth you understand so don't just be out there setting boundaries for yourself you know uh setting limitations for yourself because of your current circumstance no in Sitswana they say singwele singwe sinale na kwa sona khona ntwesa fele exactly like your hardships there's a time limit for that don't just sit there and give up and be like, ah, why me? Why me? Nah, god damn it. Which means that crying won't help. You have to do something about it. Definitely. So life is full of infinite possibilities. Let me just uh, make an example using like um you know my experience and my path thus far for me ne, i feel like my life was just full of transitions from a kid growing up in a fortunate environment having having everything i mean you know like i could get literally anything and again just a snap of a finger just like that like hey i want that and definitely get it you see it was all nice and rosy and shit <sighs> until i lost everything twice twice my nigga. the first time it was literally my actions and i learned the hard way the second time it was due to a condition or a situation caused by something and it was beyond my control it was actually caused by somebody and it was just beyond my control i couldn't like just you know alter anything at that instance and i lost everything that was when i just hooked in and became this um janky kid i was just abusing alcohol abusing drugs not 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 those type of drugs that you're thinking about right now no i'm talking about codeine lean which is the mixture of syrup and uh, any soft drink and that shit took a toll on my body i don't want to lie i do not want to lie it took a huge toll on my body there was a price tag that came with it almost got hospitalized because of the things that i was doing and i had to stop yeah the damage was already done and there was nothing i can do about it but just to man up accept it and move life moves on mina i'm that type of a person that doesn't like stagnant situations I don't like to be in a stagnant situation. I like to move. I wanna see something changing. I wanna see something happening. I like to make things happen. 
And so I today I'm here sitting here for my janky to a cum laude graduate. <laughs> Not only that, man, a medical student, the whole motherfucking medical student, just imagine. With the experience of it, though, I cannot say I have regrets. No, I don't. Because now I experienced that. So when I meet patients who are going through the same route, I know exactly what to say to them. You see? I know exactly what I had to do. Uh, I know exactly what I have to say to them. Sorry for that. And I'm not saying that you have to go literally through these things so that you can know. No. I feel like for me, yeah, it was beneficial for me to go through these things and understand what withdrawals are, how they feel like. So that now when I address my uh, my patient, I know exactly what to say and how to say it. You see, infinite possibilities. Baby. You literally don't have control over all of the situations. But you do have control of where your life is going. Like literally. You don't have to sit down and think of and think of like just for the now without considering any aspects that will happen on the following day. Meaning without looking at the future basically. Because that's where you're going. And your future is shaped by what you do today. You see, if when you are out here playing games, I'm asking myself this question. Where do you think these games are going to take you? Like literally, where do you think these games are going to take you? Because they're going to just delay you. As far as I'm concerned, I have experienced that there were a whole lot of times where I was just playing, 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 playing. Then I woke up last minute. Like, damn, why did I waste so much time? I couldn't have gained that time, yes, but I used the time that was available to me. Baby, I used the time that was available to me at the present moment, looking at what I can build today that will be beneficial for tomorrow. Tomorrow, Look, we ain't looking at what we did yesterday. Tomorrow, it's like we want to double up. The following day, we want to double up. The other coming day, we want to triple up. Until we hit the infinity scale. That's when you see things that we constantly work on manifest into reality. And you ask yourself this question, Evan, how can this person be able to articulate this? Or how can this... A person be able to execute such a difficult task. It is difficult in the hands of the beholder. Yeah. From an outside view, it's easy, but it is difficult in the hands of the beholder. Mm -hmm. Depends on how you appraise that event. And that's when you can put your own definition of difficulty scale there. But your life is full of infinite possibilities. Like literally. You don't necessarily have to do what our parents did. You don't have to do what somebody says we should do. We should take advice, yes. But. We should just apprehend and comprehend that advice before actually reapplying it. That's how things happen. Exactly. Look, I'm tired of a stagnant situation. And if you are tired in the stagnant need to be in a stagnant situation, type it in the comment section there. Section, I mean. Type it in the comment section there. If you are just tired of being in a stagnant situation, it's tiring. Taking in more than you can give is tiring. But you gotta hold on. 
hold up. You gotta hold on. Look, there's time for moving. There's time for relaxing. In that relaxation period, that's when you undergo the healing process. When you are done or way before you are done, you gotta keep on moving. You gotta keep on moving. Move. Don't be like a mountain. Move. Move. Fetch your life. There's more to this life than what you already know or what people tell you. You might want that and want this, but ask yourself this question. Do you need them? Those things that you want, do you need them? But then how about like um, taking whatever that you have now and build whatever that you want? How about that one? It's nice. It's nicer that way. So guys, today I'm not gonna extend this to be a long uh, session. I just wanna tell you that whatever that you put your mind towards and work in and put the work in, actually, you can make it manifest. First of all, you have to believe in it enough to make it happen. You got to have faith in yourself and faith in God. In order for you to make it happen. Like literally. Listen. If you want advice. Get advice from somebody that has. Or already went through whatever you have went through. Because let me remind you of this. Even the ones that you think are the closest to you. May not necessarily want greatest things to happen to you exactly in this world you are in war with yourself with those that you love and the world now it depends what type of a war are you in and what can you do about it look um if there's no death, there's no growth. As if Harvey said, you can't take a seed and throw it on top of a cement and expect it to grow. No, you have to put that on it. You have to put that on it so that the roots can sprout. If there's no death on your hands when you are trying to accomplish whatever you wanna accomplish, then just understand that there won't be any growth. And the Lohona don't take it in the wrong aspect. Doesn't mean when you have to go out of your moral ways and try to do some other negative sneak shit so that you can get whatever that you want and put that on it by actually stepping um, stones. Oh. It means that if you want to see something happen because of your own work just go out there and constantly work on it that actually will define itself as people that trash talk you people that want to see you fail people that want to weigh you down so that they can feel better uh, uh, they can feel better about themselves you know those narcissists that's that um, people that take joy in your feelings that's that and people that just don't want to see you happy that's that if there's no dirt in your seats then neither your roots ain't gonna sprout. That's it. Yeah, 
I hope that was a beneficial session though. The nigga is going on, yeah. Oh shit, like I'm looking at my mustache here and then yeah I can tell that the nigga is fucking coming on there. Yeah nigga, I can also see my hairstyle nigga and then you baby, yeah nigga. Have a lovely day, have a lovely morning, have a lovely evening. Yeah, let me peace out. Mm, nigga, I had my finger, I can't even do this properly, god dang. <laughs>